This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. Um, it is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in West Palm Beach, Florida. And it is on a clear title. And it has extremely low miles, 85,873 actual miles. Um, we brought it here. Do an inspection it looks like this my guys hand me this beautiful truck very low miles let's see what we had to do to it uh, previous owner took excellent care of this truck ignition and door lock cylinder were replaced due to theft windshield was replaced due to theft damage both side mirrors were in ops so we replaced them one battery was replaced driver door lock actuator now my brother already took photos of this thing before it came back from detail like a half an hour ago and he beat me to it he didn't know that we had a couple parts a couple things to do to it still one of the things we had to do to it was replace this cowl when they broke the windshield they broke this so we're replacing that and then there was a couple touch-ups one on the tailgate and one on the bedside nothing significant it took me all of maybe a minute to do but i'm sure the detectives who watch our videos if i don't mention that that's what happened they'll say whoa what did they do some photoshopping no we actually did some touch-up on the tailgate and i'll show you what exactly where i did it so you know what's happening here um it's amazing how how many uh murder she wrote writers watch our videos <laughs> and if i make any mistakes whatsoever i am pummeled so i make sure that when i something's not going to match up with the photo gallery that everyone knows why so there's nothing nefarious anyway in that photo gallery that my brother's already taken um you see a little magnifying glass how you gone icon you can drag across any photo and uh zoom in on anything you want to see um closer and i encourage you to do that that way you'll know everything this is the only real damage we saw in the truck right here and for some reason we see that a lot on six o's i'm not really sure what that's all about but we see it all the time um the touch-up in the picture the photo galleries you'll see there, there's a little spot right where under my finger there and now it's touched up okay kind of a little bit of a dent right there Let's see the other touch up that you'll see in the photo gallery the other one is right here there's a little line from here to here okay so now you know I hate to ruin the uh detecting for my detectors out there um let's see make sure you can see the roof Eighty-eight thousand eight hundred and seventy-six miles we'll fire this guy up i'll show you the kelly blue book i'll show you the title we got from the insurance company um And we'll go into the hood and the whole bit. Kelly Blue Book. Lair, uh, for a uh, Lariat short bed with 85,000 miles. Typical listing price would be $18,220. Uh, a range of $15,600 to $19,400. I think $19,400 is cheap. I think $18,200 is really cheap. But my brother's the one who prices these vehicles, so we'll see. Anyway, this is the title that we got from State Farm. There's the VIN. State Farm, this is a clear Florida title. It was issued to State Farm 1219 of 18. Okay, and then they assigned that this truck to us to Wheel Kinetics with 85,813 miles on 314 of 19, about two weeks ago. Okay, and two weeks later, it took about a week and a half to get it shipped here. And uh, we've had it here for a couple days and we're ready to roll. Didn't need a whole lot. All right, first thing you want to find are the Ford stamps on the fenders. There they are. And the Ford stamps on the core support, there's that one. There should be another one right there, and it's there, and there should be another one right here, okay? Cat sticker where it belongs. Take off the oil cap, see if there's any blow by. I doubt it. There's none. This 
truck was too well maintained. Too well taken care of to have blow by. All right, let's see. There's your windows up and down. Look down here at the door frame. Make sure there's no surprises. Perfect. All right, seat back, seat forward, seat up, seat down, tilt forward, down, up, and down. That's fine. Let's see. That. No. Got a little you know, there's your Florida sticker right there. Gators. Dash looks great. Headliner looks great. Seats look brand new. There's your window. gets to see everything here right the purpose of these videos isn't to sell the trucks necessarily it's really to make sure the right person buys it knows everything we know knows everything that we could possibly know about this truck so that we don't have any drama and we don't have drama because of that unless you're a crazy person and that we don't have any prevention for crazy people do exist this thing's nice, man. This is a nice truck. This is what I do all the time. Six O's. This is, I don't even know how many I've driven, seen, been in. This is a beautiful one. I like this truck a lot. There's the VIN that the Florida cops put on it to make sure that uh, this is the truck and it matches the State Farm title, right? Okay, let's see what else. Out, in, down. Yikes, that's hot. It's already Tucson, man. I gotta get used to this. It's freaking March. And my fingers are already burning on black knobs. Not good. Forward. Back. Up. Down. Tilt up. And down, tilt up, down, that works fine. Yeah, I don't know about this whole summer thing. I think I, I think I might have a couple more summers left in me and then it's time to move to Denver or something. It's hot. Obviously they stole the radio, but they were kind enough to leave plugs and the antenna and everything. If you want to deal with that, you can. Um, we used to put radios in and inevitably people would say, oh, you didn't need to do that. You know, I'm just going to go to Best Buy and get a Bluetooth and, you know, all that stuff. So what's the point, right? Turn it on to... Yep, that is beautiful. That's blowing ice cold too. Let's make sure the fan works on the steering control. Temperature up. I'm putting it down farther. Put the fan down a little bit. There we go. All right, what else we got going on here? Toe, see the toe on right here? That's me doing that. Off, on, off, okay? Neutral, I'm gonna go to four low. Now we're in four low, okay? Drive. We got our new automated fence here. Be a good test for it. In reverse in four low. I think we'll test the uh, parking sensors too here. See, they don't work. And you know what? I know why they don't work, because we don't fix them. It gets really, really annoying fixing those things and really expensive. Um, so I don't really get mad at my guys when they don't fix them because it's about $150 a sensor and then you'll plug one in and the other one will go out. Uh, use your rear view mirror. All right, so that's for high drive and reverse. 
open it in a two wheel drive. Let's go through the uh, systems check. Air conditioning's awesome. Frick, it's hot. Uh, all right, let me see if I can get this gate to. There we go. See? We had to do this so that we could let shippers in at night after hours and shut out all the vendors that show up 24 7. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. All right, if you come to Tucson Drive at Home, this is how it's going to work. You're going to pay tax and an in person fee. Uh, it's also called a dock fee, but in our case, it really works to be an in-person fee. Uh, we only have four people here, and we have a lot of vehicles. Internet business is an internet business, not an in-person business. So if you're in-person, you really are affecting our business and costing us money. We're, well, we're, we're fine doing it, but uh, that's going to cost $250 for the paperwork and the time uh, away from doing car stuff that we need to be doing. Uh, so that fee is $250. Other businesses, other dealerships call that a dock fee. I'd like to call it an in-person fee. Um, then we have um, taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city of 2.7%, okay? So you come here, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7 and a $250 in-person fee, all right? If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There's no uh, fees, there's no taxes, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we will fill out the uh, title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the uh, envelope we mail it in. Uh, once you have the truck shipped to your house, you'll probably, well, almost every time, you'll have the title before the truck shows up. And once the truck shows up by your shipper, you will uh, take it down to motor vehicles and get uh, plates and a title in your name. Real simple. Um, Deposit. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Once we have your deposit, which is $500, we will put it your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you and everyone else will know that it's sold. Um, extremely low lariats like this, very rare. Uh, especially with F recoveries on a clear title, very, very rare. Um, so I don't expect this thing to be around very long. Um, it'd probably be pretty pricey, I don't know. Uh, I think Kelly Blue Book is low on this one. We have a mega cab, an 07 mega cab that we're starting today online that has a Kelly Blue Book of 19.9 with 215,000 miles. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's a mistake by Kelly or not. It might be, it seems really low, <laughs> but, but it is what it is, so we just go with it. But the computer doesn't lie, usually. Um, so anyway, uh, make sure you get your deposit. Last part of every video, I say the same thing on every video. I'm not singling this truck out. This truck is awesome, okay? We do not have salesmen or bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in. Uh, if you were to show up with an appointment and a deposit on a vehicle to test drive a vehicle you have a deposit on, we would just toss you the keys and say, have a nice day. Uh, we're not here to babysit or coddle. We're here to tell you the truth and move on, okay? <laughs> and that's what we do. So, because of all those things that we're doing to save you money and save you time, we are not going to repair anything that from the second year of the owner. If it breaks and you bought it one second ago, you are going to write a check to fix it, okay? This is our business model. It doesn't upset us if you don't like it. If you don't like it, do something else, okay? Um, it works for us. It works for many of our customers over and over again. We have a guy who's bought, got 13 vehicles from us. Uh, he's in San Diego and he loves it. And he knows that he's had a couple where they needed repairs almost immediately. Um, you know, window motor on one, air conditioning on another. Um, I think that's, let me see if I can get somebody to open, open the gate for me because I forgot my remote. <laughs> um, there you go, see? actually works pretty well um, anyway just please know how we work and how we operate and uh, everything will go smoothly um, it does 99.999999% of the time um, the only thing that prevents it from being good is a crazy person and that does happen we've had we have about one crazy person a year we just had that person um, <laughs> and uh, we don't we don't need another one for maybe two or three more years there's not a whole lot I can do about that. 
Anyway, uh, this is a really nice truck, people. I would say that uh, whoever's the next owner of this truck is going to be very, very happy. All right, let me put it right here in line. If you're the buyer of this truck, uh, my guys are really busy. I told them to get that cowl piece, the piece up here on the windshield, fixed immediately. Um, but when you buy it, make sure in the video, in the in the email back and forth, that you say, hey, do you remember to do the cowl just in case we're not perfect, you know? Um, but uh, I'm gonna walk right over to him where I'm doing the mega cab video next, and uh, I'm gonna tell him exactly that to get this cowl fixed. I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.